me from Kopi Blood, the song says Muntu Wange. Do you have somebody you call Muntu Wange, which is my person, my very, very person? And I think the Bible gives us several examples where uh, God affirms Jesus as his son and says, this is my beloved son. And um, uh, even on the cross, Jesus tells one of the disciples, I'm trying to paraphrase. I'm just getting from the memory. Anyhow, it's just 46 into this hour. Well, 46 into this hour of 8. We have only 14 to the next hour, which will be 9. It's Idi here in Uganda and the rest of the world, I believe. And uh, many of you are having this public holiday. And somehow, some of you even don't know what's happening. And earlier on, we're having a conversation. And we're asking ourselves, what are some of those good things we can learn from our Muslim brothers? And uh, yes, truth is, they're doing quite a number of things that really stand out that we cannot avoid to mention. Is it also true that Christians are doing amazing things? Yes, they Fantastic. are. Fantastic. Yeah. But today we're not talking about the good things you're doing as Christians. Mm. You see, this is a problem we have with many business people out there. Mm. If your neighbor is prospering, before you rushing to say, again, Amunyanja is using juju, <laughs> Sit down and ask yourself, what is he doing that I'm not what doing? What is he doing that I'm not doing? What is he doing right? When time comes for yeah. prayer, the man closes his shop. Hey. Now again, I'm not call even lunch hour, I don't want to, to pray. So, but also we have mm, that also think thrive in the mm, mm, and then we also have that also thrive in the But also we have that also thrive in the also thrive in And then you keep yourself like, mm, I don't like it, I don't like it. But you look at the guy. He gives more in church. He's a giver. He's a giver. He's, he's, he's loving. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, he's receptive. He's a man of faith. Man of faith. He takes risks. He takes risks mm -hmm. and all that stuff. You think like probably I Kumbe, it's just a simple principle that they are applying. Anyway, before we went for a break, I was recommending a book uh, by Rabbi. Rabbi unfortunately passed away mm. uh, at a very young age. He had brain tumor, if I'm remembering well. But he was a devout Muslim who embraced Christianity along his journey. While at campus, this guy is born from a Muslim family. His great-grandfathers are Muslims. He was raised a Muslim, grew a Muslim. In fact, his father was one of the most respected Ngawana Gambaba Mofut. Yeah. So he joins campus, and he's challenged by his roommate. And his roommate starts sharing simple scriptures with him. And he embarked on a journey of uh, studying the word together, proving the other Ngamba. You see, the Bible has historical facts. Yep. It's true Jesus walked the face of this earth. The things that the Bible accounts are there historically. Yeah, so whether you are an atheist or what, you can go do your research and discover that indeed these things happen. Mm. So they start that debate. And then him as a person, he started also asking the questions. They had questions like, is it true Tikatunda Tazar? Is it true that it's only one prophet? Is it true? Basing from the Quran itself. And the man starts reading the Bible and understanding the Quran in relation to Jesus. To cut the story short, he converts to Christianity. Christianity. And uh, I think he started, he joined the apologetics. Those of you who know the apologetics, they are very passionate and uh, uh, well versed with the word. They mm. do not read the word just on the surface, uh -uh. but they go deeper. And they have this intellectual debates on Christianity and faith and religion. And if you are to follow and read this book, it will help you. It's available online. It's a free PDF, but you can also buy it. I'm not promoting it for sales, but just how can you preach? to your Muslim brother. Yeah, have an Most of us just end up in these ungodly, ungodly and debates, and fights. debates and fights. And sometimes it becomes I'm an emotional debate vis-a-vis yeah. -vis. in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. It's written here and here, here. Mm. You know, okay, you know, have you ever challenged this thought pattern? In a much intellectual debate. Mm. So I want to urge you that the biggest gift you can give to any brother of yours who is a Muslim is to preach to them this gospel. Preach to them Jesus. this gospel of Jesus Christ. So do not Christ. fear, do not be intimidated, but can we do it out of love? Have you come across these debates in the evening between Muslims and the Pentecostals? Yeah, they are born. Some of the, when we are doing actually the street praise, mm. uh, now we did it for some time, then eventually the Muslims also realized, hey, 
Walo kule batu wambie kaka. Walo kule batu wambie kaka. Walo kule batu wambie kaka. So they came exactly next to us. Wow. And while we are singing and praising and doing all those things, mm. they are actually also here trying to promote. Baja ni wa setting and wabu mabu wabu. Ni wa chusa naka zinda laka wana. Ni wa katunuza. Ni wa katunuza. This is war. Mu wa shipu timu no gamba. What are you trying to achieve and attain? So the other time when I was there, I went to them and I said, so exactly what do you want to achieve and attain? Said, ah, na fitu no kuwe na mga mba, it's okay. Tetu ganyi. Na mumu simbe. But, you can't have your speaker. Look, look, facing us. Na yitunuze, ni nga fitu tunuze jafi. Na yitunuze yo, so tuna nga mba, ah, na yitunuza. So, but when they started, after that, that was enough for me. I got bored, I had to leave. I can't stay. In such kind of alterations. It, it but again, but again, also there are people. You know, twelve Sharia. While we are at it, another guy came through from somewhere. I think they are used to those battles and fights. They pick on them anywhere they find them. <laughs> I think there is a devoted Christian out there who is devoted to every battle they find an alteration of Ismaya, Katonda, mm. Yesu, Bichi, mm. Allah, Bichi. Mm -hmm. They also join. And the guy had his own facts with the Bible and all of these things, guy in Anjiga, so it was a whole Never crazy thing. Now. Yeah, yeah. And that I could not even be part of. Because I don't like a you know, mm. <laughs> it's not a godly <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not a good it's a good, good it's not thing a thing godly thing. Do. I think in Christianity we don't have those jihads, those really uh, wars that they're called holy wars. Yeah. We don't have. We can preach the gospel way better. But again, let's also appreciate that, yes, maybe we are failing ourselves as Christians, the way we are preaching the gospel. Yeah, we are, we are aggressive. We are intellectually lazy. We hardly understand the gospel that we are preaching. By the way, I've realized I, Christ, I've met a mm. Christian who is trying to preach the gospel. You can't even defend the whole idea of the Trinity. You cannot, if you cannot defend God the Son, God the Father, and God the Holy Spirit. Okay. Uh, one of the things I learned is that our Muslim brothers, Kuvabuto, Baba Gamba Katunda Tazala. Now, that's a very big defense they have. They say, no, 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 the God, God, God has never, cannot give birth. So if you, uh, if you can be able to dismantle that, Obomu Mazi. Obomu Kuvabuto right from as early as two months, whatever. And months. it's the simplest thing, simplest by the way, things. to do. Simplest mm -hmm. thing to dismantle that particular debate. When you have your facts, biblical truth and historical truth. There will not be any room for arguing. But that put aside, we want to say that uh, this world is big for all of us to exist. Hey. The greatest thing is that no wonder Jesus said the greatest commission is go out, preach to the world, to all the corners of the world, preaching them and baptizing them. Meaning so, it did not convert all of us at yeah. once. And even if you, if you read the scriptures, yeah. it will definitely indicate not everyone will make it to heaven. Mm -mm. So that means some will stay. So can we try to have more? knock that door. Can we have more? Let them say no, but knock that door. Each two teach you don't follow it again again. Eight. Google Mazima. Google Mazima Matu. The ones who have said for us we are. Eh. Bo was asking. Yellow material. They don't wanna. Fetu kina kula angusa zaidi. Yeah. Those who are don't wanna even in everything they do. But and God respects that way. He respects their will. But can we win more? Can you? Can we go to heaven with more? Most especially, I want to die, go to heaven. But when I go to heaven, I want to go to almost everybody. You know? So I don't want to be chilled there with Bazungu Bestiman. Mm, you're comfortable with just. Hey, you kill a kid to your royal army to his anger. Hey, bro, you made it. There, you made it. Eh, Wawona Kadiaka, Wawono Takariaka, baby, Akawala, Nakawana, Nakawanti. My name is Jaria Kutwala, and Namuna. Jesus was greater. You understand that. Eh, Wamana was a Sula guy, Zen is where you will be. Nanima and Jacob Musa Sula, heaven was more better, was precious than, you know, that money. So, so, at least I see most of us there who have issues but are now better who have problems but now at least we make it to heaven Amen. and have a conversation chill praise and worship our god so some of the things that will let us not to enter that heaven are simple things like uh, sexual promiscuity and uh, that's what we want to discuss in the next hour we want to find out why are we reluctant when it comes to that area in life you see you find so many young people passionate about praise and worship but they're not passionate about their temple and how they're handling it. We gabi ye gabi the entire week, but on Sunday you are holy than thou. We are not going to boyfriend. As in we have normalized sexual promiscuity. It's like it's the order of the day. We take a take a date boyfriend where I need to start here white. I think we never ask him to be white. Joshua.
No smoke. No No smoke. No No smoke. 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 <laughs> there is no chitiwa in Which here. Chitiwa in there, my brother and si so, my sister. Then not to booza booza ako. Na wasuze we muna muna. Ushitege de choka. I'm after go to ushering some church kumache. No wonder you you in church you're dozing. Kwa mm. someone disarmed you already. Uh -huh. eh, eh, you're in church dozing. Someone disarmed you. And you're hiding. Yaku will come in zena kwa ambaze ichi omo yogota mani. Then you're there in church. The, the other usher who is receiving uh, gifts akubia kubuzi zake mirembe mm. eh? but someone has just ushered you in church na kushaking a mungalo ngaya suze ye muna muna so, no, no, no wonder there's an elder who has defining omoyo go kwaka what is okwaka fire eh okwata mm. akali akali lo when you see a woman dressed in a bachula way go yaka mm. when you see <laughs> go yaka but there's something fueling that by the way the bible is very clear on uh, sexual promiscuity I think it's one of the sins God punishes even up to the third generation. Mm. It's that important. But today we have casually dealt with it somehow because we could say all of us are fallen. So we somehow be like, okay, if we preach against a seed and people feel remorseful and they feel like they are convicted, they'll stop coming to church. I also strongly feel like we have lost the moral authority to talk about it. But since when did we start saying things that only please us and the people? No, it's but, God's word we're supposed to yeah, but, even when it is see, just hitting you directly. But you see, we are the same vessel. Mm -hmm. You see Jonah. Mm -hmm. Jonah was sent. Um, yeah, inagana, 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 uh -huh. Which happens. But later on, in the end, we look at the end. What happened? But he 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 went. But you see the issue is here, OJ. You think they were sending him to go and deliver cupcakes? He was scared of the mission. Of he course said, he was, ah, yeah, he was scared of the mission. Mm -hmm. But you see, how many people are scared of the mission today? Which mission is heaven? Mission is heaven. Mm -hmm. But people are scared of that mission. <laughs> but it is very attainable. It's unattainable. But it is very attainable. So the issue is here is that even us, us, Sagana Kwejamo, us, Ochtegede, Fabai no Kubu, Rida Kwebi, you don't have to be at in Zadda. So at some particular point, the congregation, more than con part of your congregation, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight you people them. in the congregation, you, you cannot yeah. stand bold and speak about the things. Well, you know, that's the conversation we're going to have in the next hour. So grace yourself. If you have a notebook nearby and a pen, bring it out. But if you have friends, you have to call and say, Muzuku ke, Muzuku ke. Today the wake up call wants to wake you up when it comes to your sexual life, your purity. You see, um, we have so many young Christians who will not go all the way to being physical, but they will do everything along the way, okay. and then they will believe that they have kept themselves pure. Hey, hey, hey. 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 So don't run away, stay tuned. We help jumpstart your day like this. Uh, wake up call.